My name is Tom Smith. I'm grown up now and have children of my own. But when I was a boy, something very strange happened to me during a very peculiar time in the world. And it's a bedtime story I tell to my children now. The story goes like this. It was Friday the 20th. Strange things always seemed to happen when a Friday fell on the 20th of the month. At this time, the world was locked down due to a horrible virus, so everybody had to stay at home. And on this particular day, there was snow in the air. It was the middle of the day, around lunchtime, and I went to the wardrobe to get some jeans, as I was cold in the shorts I was wearing. The weather forecast had said it was going to be 30 degrees, but then it ended up snowing, which was a bit confusing. I opened the door of the wardrobe, and to my surprise, I was attacked by a plastic bag. It was somehow alive and seemed to be trying to eat me. What on earth? As I scrambled to deter the plastic bag, I noticed that there was light at the back of the wardrobe. I pushed through the clothes and was so glad that I'd escaped the plastic bag that I didn't seem to notice that I was in a different place altogether. It was cold and everything was covered in thick snow, and apart from the noise of foxes and birds scratching around, it was very, very quiet. As I followed the path ahead of me, I started to smell smoke. There were benches spotted along the path. I would have sat down as I was tired, but it was freezing cold and I was hungry too. Perhaps there was somewhere to get food around here. I could taste dust falling on my tongue, and the further I went, the stranger things seemed to get. As the path bent around and out of the trees, I could see a burger restaurant. Great! Just what I wanted! A big, juicy burger! As I got closer to the restaurant, the smell of smoke got stronger and stronger. There was a waiter outside, and as I eagerly approached him, I shouted, What up, bro? I want a burger! But I was stopped in my tracks as there was a sudden bang! Oh no! It turns out one of the ovens cooking burgers had overheated and had caught on fire and exploded. There were people screaming and running out of the restaurant and cars passing by were too busy looking at the restaurant that they all crashed into each other. I was so petrified that I turned and ran back along the path to the wardrobe. But when I got there, the door was locked. At that moment, an owl flew by and dropped a note down to me, which said that I had to help the people at the restaurant to unlock the door and get back home. As I began to run back to the restaurant, the owl flew off in such a hurry that he bashed his wing on a tree branch and cried, Ow! as he disappeared into the distance. I quickly got back to the restaurant and made sure that everybody was okay. A fire engine had already arrived to put out the fire, so I checked with the waiter that everyone was out safely and helped to hand out blankets to everyone to keep warm. There were a few injuries, but luckily nothing serious. Once everyone had gone home, I went back to the wardrobe and sure enough, the door was unlocked. Phew! Back in my house, no time seemed to have passed. It was still lunchtime. I was still hungry as I never did get to have that burger and burgers were my favorite food. I ran to the kitchen and raided the fridge for burgers and cookies which I devoured at speed. Full with food and tired from the crazy adventure, I was ready for an afternoon nap. That evening, at the dinner table with my family, I told them about the wardrobe and the plastic bag and the burger restaurant exploding and the cars crashing and the owl with the note. They all looked at me a bit strangely and my big brother just laughed and said he didn't believe me. Well, I knew it was real. That night as I went to sleep, I thought, that was a cool adventure, but it was pretty scary. I'm not sure I want to do it again. Maybe I'll keep the wardrobe closed from now on.